guys, I figured I would take you along with me on a little bit of a glow up. It's currently the Sunday before Halloween and I was just thinking about doing a little self tanner. I just finished in the shower. And so while I have to go ahead and blow dry my hair, I figured I would just let the self tanner sit. So I have the Mind Tan One Hour Express Self Tan Foam in the super dark olive color. This one is so perfect for me. It works really well. I haven't used it probably in a year. <laughs> so we're gonna use it today. And first I'm going to put on a little bit of lotion and a little bit of moisturizer. I did actually shave yesterday, which kind of worked out perfectly. You're not supposed to self tan the day that you shave or exfoliate, but the day after. So that worked out really well. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of face moisturizer because I do actually put this one on my face. I know a lot of people would say not to, but this one I have tried before and I've used it many, many years in a row. So I know that it works for me. And then I'm gonna put on just a little bit of lotion on like my joints, just to make sure that nothing sticks. Oh, and I definitely need to take this off. Yeah, this was a little um, scar patch actually to try and get this scar to heal. I burnt myself a couple of weeks back. So I put it on my elbows, my armpits, my shoulders, and then my knees and my ankles. And then I also wanted to share with you guys, I got in a couple of items from the new Dove Holiday Treats collection for the winter time. So I only picked up one scent from them and that is Spice Chai Latte which I thought to me sounded the most exciting since it is, I think the only new one. Right, the third one was sugar cookie. I just went and looked it up. I actually have the sugar cookie scrub from last year. And then I have a peppermint scrub from Tree Hut from last year. So I didn't want to pick up any of the other scrubs, but this one is spice chai latte and there's no notes on here, but there is a little like description. It's spice up your routine with notes of cardamom, clove, and comforting chai. Make every shower a cozy holiday moment with a nourishing lather that gently cleanses your skin for the holiday glow it deserves. It's like a warm treat on a chilly day. No fireplace needed. It's super cute. I am definitely a chai fan. I love drinking chai. I love smelling chai. It smells really good. It's very simple and I did have this shipped to me so it kind of got a little messed up on the way here, but that's okay. It smells really good. I don't smell anything super spicy in the scrub. And then I did also pick up the body wash. I think this is so pretty. I really love Dove's formula because it's very gentle on the skin. This one's a little more spicy and a little more vanilla. So yummy. So I cannot wait to try these two, but I just wanted to share with you guys that I did pick them up. So for application, I am gonna use this really cool Bondi Sands little like arm. And I use this one on my back and it works really well if you've ever struggled with tanning your back. So I'm gonna go ahead and self tan and I'm gonna come back and I think we're gonna put in some whitening strips too. I like to put on my robe that I've had for honestly so long whenever I self tan, just cause I feel so cute and I don't wanna get anything like stained. So, and then we're gonna do a Crest Express Whitening Strip. This one is for one hour. So while I am kind of marinating in my self tanner, I am going to do this and I'm also going to blow dry my hair. I'm gonna do a blow out with my Shark Flex style. And after an hour, I am gonna wash off my face and then do some contouring with my self tanner. It's so cute, I'll show you guys in an hour. And then I'm going to soak in it for another hour. So I like to do the body for two hours and the face for one and then contour for one. So let's put on the strips. And we are also going to do some Halloween nails today. I have on these like drips of blood that were so cute, but they're chips. So I'm going to decide what I'm gonna do as well and do those today.
has been an hour. I'm gonna take off my whitening strips. I don't know if I noticed a huge difference. They do look good. They look nice. And I'm gonna wash off my face now and then we're going to do the contour. So let me wash my face and come back. So first I do wanna make sure that my skin is hydrated. So I'm gonna go back in with my CeraVe moisturizer. And I didn't wash it off my neck yet. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of jaw contouring as well. So I'm gonna let this kind of like dry for a couple minutes and then we'll come back. The moisturizer is all dry and I'm going to take this little, I guess this would be like a cheek brush. This is from Crown Brushes. It's honestly just like an old one I got in like a rocks box, but it's perfect for kind of getting into the cheekbones. So I do basically like the contouring three. So I'll do my forehead, I'll do my cheekbones, and then I'll do my jawline. And usually I'll kind of like feather it down the jawline. And then sometimes I will also do like the sides of my nose and a little bit on my eyelids too, to give it like some natural eyeshadow kind of look but I will only take like whatever's left at the end and put it on my eyes because obviously it's a very sensitive area of your face. So you gotta be careful. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit to start and that's probably good for the entire face. I just use a little bit. We'll start with the cheekbones. And I'll do the forehead and then the jawline. Now that it's all in place, I'm just gonna like blend it out like I would with makeup. And it'll look kind of funky, <laughs> but I swear once you wash it off, it looks so good and so clean and kind of like you have a natural contouring going on. Okay, with whatever's left, I'm just gonna go a little bit on the sides of my nose, eyelid, eyelid. That's that. So that is it for the contouring. I'm gonna leave this on for another hour and then we're gonna wash both the face and the body off in the shower in like lukewarm water and we'll come back. But I am still working on my nails. I'm kind of trying to get the nail polish off of one hand. I haven't even started on the second hand, but Casper is such a cute movie. I definitely forgot. I don't think I've watched it in maybe 10 years since I was little. It's so cute. done with my shower honestly you kind of can't tell that i self-tanned like at all so i'm gonna try and insert some clips tomorrow of what the contouring looks like once it's had time to fully develop i feel like the next day it looks so good so i'm just gonna go ahead and put on my pumpkin white pumpkin chai body lotion now that i am all clean and dry honestly i feel really dry but i did not yet get to doing my nails so we're gonna do that I think I'm gonna try and convince Ryan to let me watch a spooky movie <laughs> I'm not one for scary movies I really don't like them I can't handle it like I will see things in my sleep and wake myself up like the most that I could do was the original scream movie last year I watched it and even that was like a little scary <laughs> but I'm gonna try and see if he can um find one that I would be okay with while being a weenie and we can watch that while I do my Halloween nails or maybe I will start Scream Queens. I have been dying to start it so I've never seen Scream Queens. I feel like I would love it. I'm gonna go and put on some PJs and then do my nails and that will be the end of the Halloween-y glow up with me. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't leave because you know it's not over yet but thank you so so much for watching.